Hello friends, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to create a repository on our local system and how can we add files to that one. In this lecture, we are going to see what are the different stages are there in our Git repository. There is some certain procedure we should follow to add our content to Git repository. Just creating a file inside your repository doesn't add your file to repository. Whenever we create any files inside a repository, it starts tracking those files. That's it. If you want to add those files to a repository, we need to execute these commands. So, first we'll understand the different stages. First thing is working area. Working area nothing but the folder which you have converted as a git repository. We have executed git init dot write in our previous lecture. Let me show you that repository. So this is the repository which we have created in our previous lecture and these are the files which we created. And let me open git bash over here. Let me increase the font size. And I will keep open both the screens so that it is easy for us to understand. And if I see pwd I'm under slash projects demo repo and these are the files I could see. So far we have converted this directory as a repository or else this folder as a repository and we created these two files so this we call it as a working area whenever you create any files under working area it start tracking these files tracking the files doesn't mean that these files are added to repository to add these files to repository we should execute some certain commands that is where i have mentioned so if you see this one we have files over here now we need to add those to index area so index area or staging area both represents to the same to add our files from working directory to staging area we should execute command called git add so git add is a command to add our files from working area to staging area once these files are available under staging area we need to execute again git commit command to add these files to repository so local repository or repository we can add files to our local repository by using git commit command now let's jump back to our repository and we'll add our existing files to staging area then repository so to add our files to the staging area we'll execute command called git add over there so this is our git repository and we want to add these files to our staging area for that we should execute git add right and you should execute commands only on your git bash you cannot execute on your windows or gui if you want to execute those on gui there is one more option that is git gui okay so git gui is a same thing instead of running your commands you can do it from your gui as well like creating repository cloning all this stuff you can do but most of the people they don't use git gui we should use git bash only so i am not going to talk about git gui in this training we are just quitting this and we'll execute over here we'll execute all our commands over here okay so now git add and file name so i can give git add file one and if I want to add two files, git add file1 and file2.txt. It got as a txt extension. Why? Because we have created it from our GUI. But in Linux, whenever we create any file, it doesn't come up with any extension. Okay. So this is the one command to add our files. Other commands are git add dot. Dot nothing but in the current directory, whatever files are there, add all those files to staging area that is another command another one is git add minus minus all okay this is one more command which which is going to add our all files to our repository all are going to do the same activity so we are going to use all these commands in going forward but for now we'll do with the file name okay file1 and file2 dot txt okay i am adding these two files this is the command to add our files from working directory to staging area so working directory nothing but whenever you initialize your repository by default it becomes to the working directory if you go outside of your repository it is not working directory it is a normal directory that is the difference but before executing this command i will just execute one more command that is git status 
git status is very useful command which tells you where is your files are located at this moment nothing but whether these files are at working area or else staging area or is it committed to your repository now let's execute this git status command before executing git add command and we'll see it is saying on branch master we are going to talk about this branch in later point of time but until some period of time you can see uh, only this message and no commits yet what does it means that there is no commits done in our repository yet means it is a fresh repository i haven't added any files to our repository we just created a repository under repository we created two files those are still under working directory it is not yet added to our repository and untracked files so untracked files nothing but these files are at working area only if it is come under to tracked it means that staging area please remember whenever the files are there in the staging area it represents as tracked files if it is in untracked means those are in working directory and those are represented in the red color red color means it represents that those files are still at working area not yet added to staging area okay so to add these files you can use a command called git add file okay this is one way to add so same thing we are executing right git add file 1 and file 2.txt same thing we are going to do to add these files to tracking nothing but staging area and nothing added to commit but untracked files present which means that we haven't added any files to the staging area if something is there in the staging area then you can see over here nothing but those files are in the staging area so you will understand in better way going forward but so far what i am going to do is let me pull it little bit down i am going to add git add file one i am not going to execute on both the files will add only file 1 to our staging area means file2.txt still it is at untracked or in working directory itself now we can see git status again this time you can see okay no commits yet we haven't done any commits and changes to be committed which means that these files are in the staging area whenever these are in staging area it appears as a green color and whenever those are in working directory still it will show you in the red color so untracked files nothing but this is still in the working directory this is at staging area and if you want to commit your changes to repository you can do only on the files which are at staging area nothing but now file one is in the staging area i can commit this one but not file 2 if i want to add this one to my repository then first i need to send it to the staging area then only i can commit it okay now let's do it again git add dot or else i can do git add file 2 dot txt so it is going to add my file to staging area now if i check git status both the files are in staging area nothing there in the outside of staging area now i would like to commit these changes to my repository to commit these changes to my repository i should execute a command called git commit okay git commit followed by your commit message commit message nothing but what changes you have done and what is the commits you are doing why because multiple developers are working and each developer might be doing his own changes right so this commit message represents what changes he has done in this commit okay so before committing i am going to execute one more command that is git log okay so git log is a command which tells you that what and all commits you have done on your repository if you see there is no commits yet why because this is a fresh repository even though we added our files to our staging area we haven't committed our changes to the repository so git status will tell you that where exactly your files are there git log tells you that whether you have committed your changes or not okay now i am going to execute again git commit followed by the message i am going to tell that this is my first commit okay i am giving this is my first commit but whenever you are giving commit you need to use the minus m flag okay minus m flag represents to the commit id without minus m flag it doesn't take it up now let's execute and you can see the output of this one so master so and so this is 
my first commit and two files has been changed nothing but two files has been added and three instructions why because in one file two lines are there another file one line is there and plus nothing but we have added those files if you remove some files on the existing file then you can see minus over here and created mode nothing but current permissions on your file so 644 is the default permission is available on these two files this is how we can commit our changes to our repository now if i do git status you should not able to see any files under working directory or staging area why because whatever files we have or whatever files we have created those files are added to staging area and also committed to our repository and if i check git log now you can see one commit just to see this one git commit and it also giving a commit id yes i missed to explain about it this is the sha code or commit id we can call so commit id will have the lengthy one but first six characters would be fine to find out our commit because it is unique for each commit and there is a head represents to the master we are going to talk about this one in the later and author you just see this one we have set up my username and email id right so this is going to display over here nothing but who has done this commit and when he has done this commit and what is the commit id this is the information so like this we can commit our changes and we can track these changes so now by looking at this commit i can understand what commit he has done and what is his intention to made his commit and also who has done this commit and when he has done this commit and what is commit id all this information is displayed over here like this whenever we add any commits it is going to add in the git log that we can identify by using the git log command okay so far we have done only one commit okay so this is how we need to add those files now you may ask that is there any way to bypass this uh, procedure no we must add our files first to staging area and then we can add it to the repository sometimes we can directly add to the repository if those files are already updated but anyway we are going to see that one in the later point of time but it must go with the staging and repository now i am going to quickly show you the what and all commands we have executed it is kind of recap so we have executed a command called git add that adds files into the staging area then we have executed git commit that add changes to the local vcs nothing but in our laptop we have created a repository to that repository we have added right now git status shows current stage of repository means in which location your existing files are available that tells about the git status then git log shows commit history we have seen how many commits we have done on our repository by using git log so these are the commands we have used in this lecture that's all for this lecture. See you in the next lecture.